what you are seeing is a world of the past. These remarkable giants are known as the dinosaurs. 66 million years ago, dinosaurs like T-Rex ruled the world. But living in their shadows are a group of animals and they are referred as the mammals. Their world was about to change forever. In the Cretaceous period, around 66 million years, volcanic activity started to poison their atmosphere by creating a dangerous world where it evolves a murderer from outer space, causing the extinction of the dinosaurs. and the dinosaurs were gone from our world for millions and millions of years. But then, other animals were starting to evolve. For example, you have woolly mammals, which are the prehistoric descendants of the elephants. And then you have giant species of elk called Megalotherus, also known as the Irish elk, mainly living around in Europe. And then humans appeared on Earth for only about 2 million years in existence and over time they were successful. I want you guys to think of something. To think of a world where dinosaurs would live beside us. And in this series it has an answer for it. Imagine a world millions of years after evolution. This is a new chapter within the story of the dinosaurs. Our modern world is home to an ecosystem of different creatures. Now their future is prehistoric. This is planet Earth, a home of different types of creatures. There is only one that controls this planet. That is humans. Humans are different creatures. We have different ways to live live on Earth. We control different ways of life by making companies or making houses or connect to a completely different world from us. And that world is more natural with modern day evolution of life on our future world. The animal kingdom, we lived with creatures like the African lion, the wolf, the elephant, and so much more creatures that evolution presents us to coexist with for millions and millions of years ago. Let's meet a YouTuber and expert about dinosaurs and other prehistoric life on Earth on Dinosauria Studios, Jacob James Miles. If we look into the modern world like as it is now, you see a variety of different animals, creatures and organisms never in your wildest dreams would capture your imagination. But what if we decided to choose to live with these creatures and the creatures from the past. There is a way to bring creatures back from the dead by using the latest science and understanding of these certain creatures that once roamed the earth.
250 million years ago, giant prehistoric animals called dinosaurs roamed the Earth. The word dinosauria means terrible lizard. Dinosaurs evolved into different forms started at the Triassic period at 250 million years and ended at the end of the Cretaceous period at around 66 million years ago. We know that dinosaurs were here because their bones are being discovered at every different parts of the world including Antarctica. And now let us show you the modern, evolved versions of the dinosaurs of Jurassic World. This is winter. In the forests of North America, this place is Rome. By giant animals. This is the king of the dinosaurs. Tyrannosaurus Rex taking a stroll in the woods. This dinosaur was popular in the Jurassic Park universe. This creature's jaws are powerful. When we look into the accurate Tyrannosaurus, it has lips quite the same as modern lizards and quite chucky and has binocular vision and strong eyesight. In evolution, Jurassic World's T-Rex is taller than the original version, has weak eyesight only based on movement, its arms are pronated than the original T-Rex which has arms on its side, it also has sign of mouth covering like lips with its teeth showing outside of the lips, with some extra DNA. This is a female. She is on the hunt for food, like large prey or a dead dinosaur. In this ecosystem, in the forests of North America, there are creatures like wolves and large herbivores like elk moose and bison plus modern avian dinosaurs like canadian goose ducks and eagles There are other creatures in this landscape, like velociraptors eating a body of a dead Parasaurolophus. A mixed species herd of different herbivores like Edmontosaurus and Gallimimus. with armored dinosaurs, like Ankylosaurus. With the famous horned dinosaur, Triceratops horridus. Due to the new and accurate looks on today's evolved versions of different dinosaurs, the Jurassic World dinosaurs transformed the same species with DNA from modern animals. That makes them more interesting in their own depictions of a more unique set of prehistoric animals. Winter times will come into the accuracies of dinosaurs from Jurassic World. We see things quite differently. For example, we have blue, the velociraptor, for example. The shape of the skull is the one shape. 
This is the actual skull of a Velociraptor that is from Mongolia. Well, this is a replica from cardboard, and you can see e the difference between the same animal with a different shaped head. And another thing about the Velociraptor is her size. Well, she can be as nearly tall as a Utahraptor, but with the extended DNA for modern animals depending on their size and their survival, there's different ways of inaccurate dinosaurs throughout the years as we researching about them for hundreds and hundreds of years. When we look into the size of the actual Velociraptor, we see things quite differently. Well, the size of the creature can be as big as a turkey, but another thing is, in, is these remarkable feathers. We can see that from based on the bones of Velociraptor, and the shape of the skull is quite correct. And and the, and most of its body is covered in feathers. But we now know that sixty different species of dinosaurs would have been known to have feathers for a very long time, based on fossilized remains. When we look into vintage dinosaur art, we see a whole new world of different ideas of dinosaurs in their depiciton of paleomedia with their discoveries of dinosaur bones. This image shows a Tyrannosaurus rex in a kangaroo posture on how it looked like in 1900s. In the 1980s and 90 seconds, this is how Tyrannosaurus look into the modern day. Tyrannosaurus rex is more like a bird type posture because dinosaurs are more likely than birds to reptiles. Like this image here for example. This image represents the skeleton of Saint Gralong. And you can tell from the sickle claws that is based on those of Velociraptor. We see dinosaurs quite differently in movies or documentary series like Prehistoric Planet. We know from scientists they will help the general idea for these remarkable or animals. Back in the cold, a herd of a few Parasaurolophus and a herd of Edmontosaurus is nearby. Which is the perfect prey for our Tyrannosaurus Rex? One of the members of the herd can smell her scent. When the prey is attacked, the T-Rex is following the victim. The carnivore waits for its prey to bleed until the dinosaur dies in peace. But this isn't the only tea. Rex in these forests. These young tyrannosaurs are siblings. They are young and a target for predators. So they trusted their older sister to find food for their family.
The main question is, can Tyrannosaurs like T. Rex can be the perfect creature for family? The answer is in these bones. This image reveals three T. Rexes having their meal. It becomes evidence on dinosaurs having their moments in life for different predators and prey. And a great example in the lost world, Jurassic Park back in 1997. In the 2020s, Tyrannosaurus Rex was the perfect parents for their babies and their own siblings. So far in this episode, we've seen how T-Rex gets its food. We've seen how T-Rex takes care of its family. We've seen the bones of Tyrannosaurus and compare the accuracy of this creature. And it was the icon of Jurassic Park's legacy and the evolution progress of this creature on the future is prehistoric. When it comes to the size, of different creatures like Edmontosaurus, this is an image of one. It is so big, that's bigger than Tyrannosaurus Rex. By the size of the animal and the details that goes beyond with the animal, we've known that several bite eye marks were shown in, on Edmontosaurus and can be proven by a large predator, most likely Tyrannosaurus Rex. We know that Tyrannosaurus rex has the strongest bite in the dinosaur kingdom, much stronger than crocodiles and sharks, that cause injuries in Edmontosaurus and other dinosaurs in its diet. The million dollar question is, how Triceratops defends itself with its herd or being killed by T-Rex? So what does Triceratops does is then, when a predator comes to hunt their babies, normally they will join themselves in a huge circle and then and only using their heads, their frills and their particular horns of these animals in order to protect their young from predators like Tyrannosaurus rex and that's how they would protect their babies from dangerous predators like Tyrannosaurus. A full year goes by. The Tyrannosaurus sister is learning her siblings on how to hunt Triceratops in a pack. Watching her siblings struggle to kill their prey, she made an idea to show them how her work is done. This dinosaur senses danger nearby. This is a Giganotaurus. This dinosaur is about to kill one of the T-Rex siblings. The Giganotaurus is gone. The siblings now started to get their own food. Uh... 
and their older sister Nao have kids on her own and her family members helped her for their food. In the forests, it is home to a lot of different dinosaur species. And this is the home of Blue, the Velociraptor, with her daughter, Beta. And the landscape itself is very cold. One of those examples is in, is in the Antarctic, there are different variety of animals to choose from, which are polar bears, seals, and even different species of a different species of wildlife like birds and other mammals they have different abilities to adapt the cold climate and that will probably be the same thing for our evolved dinosaurs who knows about the future of modern wildlife we see animals in movies documentaries and zoos and aquariums we human beings need to help animals and their natural world by giving them help, we will make a difference to their circle of life. By helping them, we will save them from extinction and bringing extinct ones back to life. What is the future of our Tyrannosaurus Rex?